here's a question for you. Is it offensive to mimic foreign accents? An Italian restaurant owner says his number one bad dining etiquette is people who order their food in a sort of mocking Italian accent. That's the way he sees it. James Chiaverini uh, has called out some customers saying they wouldn't dare do it in a Chinese restaurant. Here's more of what he had to say. If it's not acceptable against any other form of uh, any other minority and any other form of race, well, then why should it be acceptable against Italians? You know, we see this on TV all the time where Italians are stereotyped in a very lazy way and everybody just kind of takes it for granted. Whereas, you know, you wouldn't do that with other races. You just wouldn't even consider it. Well, it's a fair point, but then some of Britain's most iconic sitcoms use accents for comedic value. Forty Towers is a show etched into the national psyche, with Basil and Sybil navigating through life with their trusty hotel staff. And the language and accent of Manuel, of course... Mm, the waiter. Yeah, was a frequent source of gags, as this uh, famous clip shows. To be fair, he was slightly mocking him that yeah, way back, that's a wasn't play he? Play on words, which um, is the accent. Right? It, I mean, is mimicking a foreign accent in any context offensive, or at times can it be a bit of harmless fun? Well, joining us now is actress Harriet Thorpe, who says comedy is about poking fun. Lovely to have you with us, and linguist Dr. Rob Drummond, who says there isn't much difference between mimicking accents and using blackface. Thank you, Rob, for joining us as well, and, and Harriet too. Lots of our viewers getting in touch over this this morning. Uh, Dr. Drummond, I'm really intrigued with the sort of the, the, the sort of the, the seriousness with which you look at this. You think mimicking accents, you don't believe there's much difference between that and using using blackface. Can you explain that position? Yeah, well, I think it's... it's I mean, there's two things going on here. There's, there's the kind of using accents in a particular story or a joke in order to, for some kind of comedic effect. And then there's, there's mimicking, mimic, mimicking someone's accent to their face or, or behind their back. And I think both are problematic, but, but for perhaps different reasons. I think if you're using a particular accent in a story or, or in a sitcom, You've got to ask yourself, why, why this accent? Why am I using this, this particular voice? And the chances are it's because of some kind of lazy stereotype. And all you're doing by, by using that is just reinforcing this, this stereotype. And these, these, these kind of stereotypes, they're, they're almost always negative, And they're often pretty damaging because somebody's, somebody's accent, somebody's voice is so connected to who they are. So it, it's very connected to their social class, their ethnicity, their gender, even their sexuality. So when you're kind of using it in a mocking, stereotypical way, it's, it's really not a million miles away from, from using sexist, racist, homophobic, uh, homophobic language. And so, and then the other one, if you're, if you're using, if you're mimicking someone's accent to their face, again, you've got to think, well, why? What, 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 am, I, what, what am I kind of trying to do here? Because it's, it's almost never done in a, in a positive way. It's always, it's, it's, it's never done sort of making someone out to be more sophisticated, for example. There's always a sense that you're kind of, you're making a comment about their social class, about their education, ethnicity, in a bit of a more negative way. So that's why I think it's, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty damaging thing, to be honest. Harriet, is there ever an opportunity, is there ever a right way to take the uh, mickey out of somebody's accent? I think it's so interesting because you're saying taking the mickey rather than creating a reflection of the characters in the society that we're in. So if we're saying no actor can do an accent because it's mimicking or taking the mickey, then that's not so. I mean, Idris Elba goes to America and creates amazing characters with an American accent. Jodie Comer, in Killing Eve, does a hundred different accents. Does that say we can't do that? At drama school, I was told only to talk like this with received pronunciation, and I was told how to speak, and anyone with an accent was told it was wrong. We were being told how to speak, and it was patronising. And it, today, to say the same thing to any of us is modern elitism. Every, no, we shouldn't be racist, we shouldn't be homophobic, we shouldn't be anti-Semitic, we shouldn't be anti-Muslim and mimic and mock people, absolutely not. It isn't taking the mickey out of somebody, it's creating a story and that's what we do. And I look mean, we at should have, we um, should Tracy Ullman. You're a linguist, we should apologise in case somebody didn't like your way of describing, um, you know, joking in that way. <laughs> yeah. I Rob, suppose... Rob, do I you suppose struggle, sorry, sorry. Rob, do you struggle with the idea, as Harriet's just describing, of actors using accents within a film or within a play that often can be humorous and have comedy effect, but actually being able to use different accents, mimicking those accents or reflecting those, those characters from those different countries? 
Well, there's the, yeah, that, I mean, that's, the, that's a separate thing. I mean, but it has its own issues. I mean, of course, I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, when, when there's, a, there's some kind of drama, when the, the character is supposed to have a particular accent, then, of course, well, I'm not saying at all that actors shouldn't be using different accents. That's, you know, that's not, not what, I'm, what I'm talking about at all. It's, it's more to do with, um, you know, mimicking and, and, and kind of putting on accents for, for a certain effect. Having said that, there is, there is an issue within drama, within TV and radio drama, about the accents they choose to, to use. Um, so I'm not talking about the actors here, but the producers or the writers, whoever. If a character is being written with a particular accent, again, you've got to think, well, why? Why, am I why? why are they choosing this accent? Because again, it often comes down to a stereotype. And this isn't as bad as it used to be, but in the, in the past it was. Think about old, old TV programs like um, Alfida Saint Pet, and they used to have different characters with different accents, and those actors, those accents kind of matched a stereotype of a character I but it still happens and even something like I don't know seem like the radio dramas like the archers see even the archers relies on particular stereotypes of accents in order to portray a particular character and it's not always bad uh, you know it's not but often it is often it's just feeding into a, again so a lazy it's part stereotype of, it's part of what you're saying then that you don't think um, accent should be used if the role is bad and not and not good because that's that's the extension of what you're arguing, Dr. Drummond, that if in it, you know, what you're saying is you don't like bad drama or you don't like bad comedy where typical stereotypes are used in a lazy way. I think we'd all agree on that. That's a quality thing, isn't it? But is there ever an occasion I... where things you might notice about people's accents, you know, um, like people used to take the mickey of me saying I was posh, which if you know me, you know isn't. But some school friends did because I spoke differently Absolutely. from them. So you know, does that does that what does that mean? <laughs> you know, how does that how how does that work out? Is there any Can freedom left to do anything, Do <laughs> Dr. Drummond? We'll come to you in a moment, Harry. Let's just start. Let Rob yeah, cool. respond uh, to that. Just checking. <laughs> Of course, of course there is, and, and it's, not, it's, it's not just a case of bad, bad drama either. I think it's, it, once you look, and this is, I mean, to be fair, this is what I kind of do for a living, and, uh, and I analyse accents, and I look at, look at how accents are portrayed and how people are using accents, but once you start look, it's not just the bad drama. It's good, it's good drama, it's good films, but they're using um, particular accents in order to portray mm. particular characteristics. And that's when I say it's lazy, it's kind of, OK, if we've, mm. if we've, got, a, if we've got a criminal, they're going to have this accent. If we've got someone who's not very intelligent, we're going to have this accent. If we've got somebody we don't trust it's this accent if we've got someone who's very sophisticated and has has the power in the situation let's give them this accent and it's that kind of thing and arguably it's reflecting society but I think that's 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 an issue that's something that we should okay. be challenging and certainly in my jo job that is what I do is challenging those stereotypes within society Harriet we'll give you the last word seeing you've been so polite and actually put your hand up to answer I like that I did yes I did <laughs> <laughs> What I wanted to say, what I wanted to say is, if you take this to its logical conclusion, then you can't play a mother unless you're a mother. You can't play a murderer unless you've been a murderer. That isn't at all what we're talking about. And I want to know, Dr Drummond, what were your favourite cartoons as a kid? Everything has an accent. And it's not. We, don't, we can't be stereotypical and go back to the 1980s. And you're quoting shows that have been long gone. And I totally understand that. But today it's different. And to tell people how they can or cannot speak, no, we shouldn't be taking the mickey out of anybody or abusing anyone with accents. Of course not. But to say it's only we're only looking at them in one way or another, my heritage meant that my family came from the East End. Now, does that mean I can't talk like this because I'm then representing somebody else? No, it doesn't. It's about creating a story and it doesn't have to be bad and it doesn't have to be negative. And to, to limit it like that, what, tell me, Dr Drummond, what characters, what shows, what comedies did you like? Uh, they, were, they were full of them, but, you know, they were full of these stereotypes, and, and some still are, and I think it's just the case, but everything has moved on. I think, I think we, as every, a society, we're getting but beyond Dr. Drummond, this, every Lego, we do see things as problematic. But every cartoon... Every cartoon today has an accent. Every Lego person has an accent. I mean, every commercial, every, everything that children watch, you know, they have a... So if I talk like this in a cartoon, is it... I'm not a baby, but can I talk like this? Am I not allowed? It doesn't mean I'm abusing people no, 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 or not respecting them. 
I'm creating an accent. And no, yet, no, 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 no. it sounds like we're not allowed to do that anymore. We are. We are we'll let you guys carry no, this no. on offline, because uh, it seems like it's going to rage for quite a long time. And what a great <laughs> array of accents, <laughs> yes. Harriet, you Thank can you. demonstrate. Dr. So Dr. Lovely to hear your thoughts. And uh, <laughs> Harriet as well.